Welcome to Next Game's video on how to solo the June 2019 Ambuscade battle against the Magic Pots on Very Difficult. This is one of the easier Ambuscades to do on Very Difficult that I have seen, so this should be a good month for Hallmarks if you need them. Before we show an example of the fight, let's go over the strategies for this battle. Okay, this month our fight is against three Magic Pots. A small pot, a medium-sized Ancient Pot, and a large pot. They all have access to the same abilities, and fortunately those abilities really aren't any danger to Ninja, but let's go through them really quick just so you know what they're doing. First off, Spectral Barrier. This is simply giving the Magic Pot a Magical Shield. The next one is Battery Charge. This will restore MP to the Magic Pot. Next one, Mind Drain. That will try an Absorbed Mind from you and this is absorbed by a single shadow. The next one is Double Ray. That deals light damage, but is also blocked by one to two shadows. The next one is Spinning Attack, which is a directional attack, so you wanna make sure you keep the pots facing away from your trust. If it hits you, it will knock you back, but it is also absorbed by one shadow. This brings us to Mysterious Light, which is really the only move here that's really gonna damage the ninja and it deals physical damage and inflicts weight upon everyone within 10 feet. It also wipes shadows, and the most important thing is it resets hate. Now this fortunately only does a few hundred damage to you and all your trust, even on very difficult. But because it resets hate, the white mage will immediately start curing people and the pot will tear off towards him. So you want to be sure that you save your provoke for right after you see a mysterious light so that you can maintain hate as he resets it every time he uses this move. This brings us to the order of kill. The recommended order that I suggest you kill these in is the small, medium, large. So the mystical terracotta first, then the glistening kazula, and then the rigid porcelain. I basically did it this way because that's uh, the order of how much hit points they have, so you can kill the first one kind of the quickest, the second one the second quickest, and then the rigid porcelain takes the longest. Let's go ahead and see how one of these fights goes on Very Difficult. I'm using my usual set of trust for this fight. Yoran for Cures, Koru for Haste, Omiya for March, Shantoto 2 for Skill Chains and Magic Burst, and Seth continually restores HP, MP, and TP to the party. Now that I've done this on Very Difficult, I will say you can swap in any DD for Shantoto 2 because his damage is pretty well mitigated during this fight due to all the magic defense on these pots. You start with the small pot, then go to the medium, then the large. Enjoy the fight.
there you go. As you can see, pretty easy. Hope everyone has a good month doing this on Very Difficult. And I'll see you for next month's video for the Very Difficult Ambuscade. Have a good month, everyone. Bye.